Hey guys, welcome back to another super simple and quick tutorial. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to link files. This is super useful and I'll show you exactly why. Let's say you have your main project here, right? You have your scene, maybe you have a plane and you just wanna add a bunch of characters to it or whatever. So let's say you don't wanna do all the modeling here. You wanna keep it completely separate to another project. Let's say we have another project. This is our other project. Let's just say you modeled this incredible thing We'll just pretend it's this, right? So let's say you, you have this all modeled, it's all ready to go, but you don't wanna just add it into your project, you want to link it. I'm gonna show you why this is so useful. So right here we have Suzanne, she's looking really, really good. Let's go ahead and add her to a new collection and I'm gonna call this linked file source one, okay? Now you can name this whatever you want, I'm just doing this for the example. And as you can see, she is in our linked, linked file source one collection. Now I'm gonna show you what we can do here. Let's go back to our main project file. Now right in here, this is where we wanna put Suzanne. Let's go ahead and click on file, link, and then we're gonna go ahead to our linked source file right here, and we're gonna go into, into that file, and then we're gonna go into collections, and as you can see, we have our two collections here. We're gonna click on, click on this one, linked file source one. Go ahead and click link, and as you can see, there she is right there. Now what's great about this is you can't actually go into edit mode or anything, right? Now I'm gonna show you why this is so useful. Let's put Suzanne right here, okay? I'm gonna go back to our original source file, right? I'm gonna go ahead into edit mode here and I'm just gonna give Suzanne a very large cranium here. In fact, I'm gonna make her look a little bit ridiculous. I'm gonna go ahead and save that, okay? And I'm gonna head back over to my original main project file and just like that, we now have our linked file being updated basically in real time. Now you cannot have both of these files open at the same time, it will give you some issues. However, if you save and come back after making changes, those changes will automatically be updated in your main project file. This is super useful. Let me just show you one more example of why this is so useful. Let's just say, and I'm gonna save this as we go, let's just say we also have a nice cylinder next to Suzanne and it's just sitting there and we put it in that same um, collection, right? So it's in the same collection as Suzanne. Maybe we'll give it one more and let's just go ahead back to our source or our project file. As you can see, we now have our two updated objects because they're updating. Um, every time we come back to this, it's gonna check for that other file. And it's gonna say, oh, that collection just got updated. Let me go ahead and add all this stuff in here. It works with materials, it works with objects, it even works with fluid simulations. I've tried it with that before. Guys, linking files is so useful and I don't know why more people aren't teaching how to do this. It's incredibly useful and the best part is you can't do any damage to this because it's in a completely other file. You can still rotate it, you can scale it, you can reposition it, you can pretty much do anything you want with it, but you don't have to worry about messing it up and it's not gonna take up nearly as much space in this file because it's basically just a reference from the other file. Um, and it does work with materials, like I said, I'm not gonna go into that, this is pretty much it. You're basically taking something and using it as like almost a template. Now another great part is you should just be able to duplicate that, Shift D, or in this case you can do Alt D as well. Um, Alt D isn't like a true duplicate, but it doesn't matter because this is a linked file. Now, how awesome is that? Now, remember guys, if we go back to our original file and we, for example, duplicate this one more time, maybe a couple more times, right? We're going crazy here, but it's all in the same collection, so it's okay, right? Let's go back to our main project file. As you guys can see, it is all updated. Guys, this is extremely useful. I'm telling you, you will be able to use this in your projects. And like you said, it's gonna appear as a collection over here with the linked file in your hierarchy, but it is not actually editable and you can't actually mess it up, but you can still utilize this as a resource. How awesome is that? And remember, these are all gonna update if you update it in the other file. Let me just show you one last example. If you go back to your original source file and you insert a keyframe on the rotation of this cylinder, move forward 30 frames, rotate it, insert another keyframe. We have our animation here, right? Let's go back to our original main project file. Whoa, wait, Kenny, you're telling me you can have a linked animation across both files? What? Yes, so guys, this is really useful, especially if you have like multiple characters or you're trying to create a large scene and you have multiple moving objects, but you don't want all those pesky keyframes in one file. You can actually have linked animation. Look at this. 
all these are animated, right, guys, on each instance here. How awesome is that? I just... I can't stress this enough. This is incredibly useful and incredibly powerful technique that no one is talking about. So I had to make a video about it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Go and try linking your own file. Try it yourself. It is so useful. Once you try it, you're never going to go back to doing things the way you did before. I promise you. And it's going to allow you to easily iterate on ideas much quicker. Guys, I promise you, super useful technique. I hope you learned something. Have a great day.